When your Nippon test get bigger, you have to report. Uh, but usually we postpone that because that's more work. But the problem is the sphagnum will decompose and start damaging the roots. So you have to totally change the substrate. That's what we call a hard report. And that's exactly what we will talk today. Hi, my name is Remy, and on this channel, I explain everything I know about how to grow Nippon Test on a windowsill. So if you are new, consider subscribing. So as I said, the hard report is almost mandatory after a few years. So you have to take most of the old substrate and uh, just put that to the garbage and put some fresh new substrate. Uh, the problem is that's exactly against what I said in the previous video about do not disturb the roots. If you disturb the roots, as explained on this video, uh, it will uh, shut down all the pitcher, uh, the plants will take more time to recover, etc. So basically, you will have to take all the substrate, damaging the less roots possible. And believe me, that's not complex, but stressful, because you never know when you will pull um, a sphagnum fiber and it will be attached to a root and then it will snap. Why repotting? So first, the substrate will decompose, so you have to repot. But also the fact that uh, maybe when you pot this plant, it was that big and the pot was that big. So it's kind of okay. But then, for example, my uh, burkei, the pot is still a uh, four inch, I believe, but the plant is probably close to two feet if I just put straight the, the two big uh, leaves, that's gonna be that. So uh, it's overdue. It's most than just the time to report. I have to do it. So it's gonna be uh, for this video. Uh, um, again, try to damage the less root possible, but if you damage some, it's no big deal. I mean, there is nothing you can do, right? You cannot uh, glue the, the, the roots Again, so just, yes, on this video, you will see that I did my best to not break the roots, but I did. Here you can see there is like a big root, uh, probably um, 20 centimeter. Uh, so too bad, too sad, but uh, show must go on. The plants will recover. Maybe it will skip one or two pitcher and that's gonna be it. So again, don't freak out, do your best, just take most of the substrate. Don't go crazy taking exactly everything. No, if there is parts where you see the, the roots are tight, leave it. It's better this way. And if you're wondering how often do you need to repot, well, uh, every four years, it's good. Uh, two to four years, depending on uh, the, the temperature around, uh, the coldest you are, the less the sphagnum will decompose. Again, the composition need uh, some uh, hot uh, temperature. So um, the thing is, after mm, this one is big, but next time it won't be reported in sphagnum because again, sphagnum decompose. Next time I will use a substrate that don't decompose or really slow. Um, all the Japanese uh, bonsai thing, like uh, Kurama or... Kurama. Oops, my bad, uh, sorry for that. It's not Kurama, it's Kanuma. Uh, sorry, my brain sometime. And for sure, Akadama. That's uh, most inert. Uh, it's a mineral, it's clay, I believe. Uh, that's what I plan to report this plant next time because I plan to repot it next time and keep it in the same pot for 10 years, not four. So that's gonna be for uh, a next video. So now let's see how I repot the plant. Uh, maybe not that big for most uh, of the, the old grower, but uh, for me clearly that's one of the, the biggest. All the, the pictures are that big, like, look at this, like, th that's a decent size. But the thing about this one is uh, the repotting was clearly overdue. Uh, it's uh, not a big one, it's probably four inch pot. And um, 
I plan to upgrade it, it's deeper and larger, so more space for the substrate and the roots. Okay, so how do you do that when you have a big plant like that? The plan is to soak it uh, into water for a few minutes, because that's gonna allow the, the substrate to get softer, I hope, and then I will try to take out as much old substrate as I can. That's what we call a hard repot. Uh, the, the whole idea is to disturb the, the roots the less possible. I don't want to lose all the pictures. I don't want to, um, to slow down the plants. Um, and we will do some cleaning because we have some old um, pictures that are supposed to be dead, but they are still uh, kicking. And even some ugly one from last um, uh, fall, when I had this uh, small lip problem. So I will uh, soak it, clean it, and uh, then I will uh, repot. Okay, so I will speed up a little bit, uh, because it takes some time. If you want to preserve the roots, you will have to go slowly, but uh, for now, let's speed up. Okay, so here is uh, the root system. That's not that big for such a plant. It's really just to able it to stay in the ground, I guess, to, to be able to climb. But um, yeah, some are long, some will be dark. Usually the small one will be dark, but then the big one will tend to be lighter, like almost a beige. And um, that's it. So now that I took most of it uh, without breaking too much roots, I hope, uh, it's time to repot. And this time, as uh, I'm running <laughs> low on um, perlite, uh, I will probably mix with uh, some barks, orchid barks this time. Even if it's not technically orchid barks, but more uh, reptile barks, uh, because I was, um, that's what I found. So let's uh, have a lot of drainage, sphagnum, and everything should be okay. And what we want is to not put uh, all the roots like really heavily compact together. No, we don't want that. They were not like that at the beginning. I don't want them to be like that now. So let's take a small bowl, and there is some debris, but we don't care. And we will just put them around. So they will most likely move in all the directions. And I plan to put this one straight. So I will put a little bit more. Okay, now we will have to find a way to attach it to the, the bamboo stick. So that's the zip tie. We will clean everything that we don't want to keep. For example, there is a leaf here. Okay, so now everything's fine. Uh, plenty of space, again, to, to put the water, even this one. Okay, so when I will put the water here, there is no problem, nothing will prevent the water to reach the substrates. I have, I see, better now. One new, a big one, two, three, and always the kind of old one that had this small lid, but it's still, totally alive almost, so that's gonna be, for now, good enough. And that's it, you don't forget the name tag, and it's done, it's reported. I will just top, um, top dress with some live sagnum, and that's gonna be it. So as you see, not really complex, stressful, but not complex. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or any comments, please feel free to write them in the comments, and uh, until next time, happy growing.